So I weighed um, I weighed 210 kilos at my heaviest. Um, I wasn't in a good place, physically or mentally. You know, sometimes we forget about the, the mental side of it. You know, we focus on the way we look. You know, but the mental side of it is just as important. If, you know, how you feel is just as important as the way the way you look. To, to be honest, I think the way you feel is more important. You know, because that that's, that's when you wake up, are you happy? When you go to sleep, are you happy? You know, here I wasn't. You know, my background, I don't use it as an excuse, I use it to motivate me. Uh, my, my father was the, the president of the Auckland chapter of the uh, Mongol Mob. Obviously, uh, childhood definitely wasn't normal. And it's basically, you know, I just, I came up in a pretty tough childhood. Uh, he was imprisoned when I was five. He was sentenced to 10 years in prison for armed robbery. Um, you know, what's, um, you know, a lot of people have, parents have different trades, or my dad's trade was a, was a big robber. I, I studied and trained really hard. Um, you know, and, and I again use the motivation of where I come from, not to as an excuse. And I know I, I went to uni, and also this, um, these photos here of me playing rugby league. I played rugby league all over the world. Uh, league didn't go to plan. I, I, I managed to play semi-professional, but could never crack um, NRL. Ended up having nine knee operations, um, and got into supermarkets. Uh, got into work, working really hard, and here I started putting, like a lot of us, you know, started putting my health second. It's funny because I was always proud about the way I looked. I was always athletic, and but then when I started working really hard and, and stopped training and started eating rubbish and drinking a lot of energy drinks just to keep going, um, I stopped weighing myself. I wasn't looking in the mirror. Um, and it just, you know, all of a sudden I'm having to buy bigger clothes. I didn't think about it, but then um, I really didn't think about it. I remember I was at a hotel um, that I was staying in and I had a scale and I jumped on a scale and it was almost 200 kilos. It was amazing that they even had a scale at, at a hotel that weighed that much. I couldn't believe it. And when I think about it now, it was like a sign. Cause I, I, I jumped and I said, man, I re that was the first time I think, man, I've gone and really, I've really let myself go here. Um, this is disgraceful. And I, I, I had a bath and I, and you know, again, the mental side of it, you know, I was literally thinking about, so I should just drown in here. You know, I wasn't, it really hit me that night. And only a few, maybe a year or so after this photo, I had um, ended up losing everything, uh, you know. Lost the businesses, uh, lost the, lost the, all of my money, and uh, more importantly, I lost my, my family. Um, health down the drain, 210 kilos. I moved back to New Zealand, and uh, and I was staying. I remember it so clearly because I was just staying on this single bed. It was my youngest sister. And I was staying on her daughter's just a spare bed. The single bed couldn't I couldn't fit on it, and I remember. I was staring at the roof on this bed and I think, man, this can't be it. You know, I just, this can't be my life. Really depressed, um, crying all the time, missing my kids, and I just hated my life. I couldn't believe the situation I was found myself in. Going from having, going from nothing to having a lot to back to nothing again was really humbling. I didn't know what I was going to do, <coughs> and Dave Higgins offered me—he um, offered me a bit of a lifeline. Well, not a bit of a lifeline; it was a lifeline. Um, let's throw you in the boxing ring, and you know, to, as 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 a goal, as something to train for, just to help me to to lose some weight, you know, and, and give me something that a purpose. And I I, I jumped at the chance, and uh, I trained really hard. And at the time. You know, I'd gotten off this single bed and just started walking day and night. I'd walk twice a day, every day.
this was my first fight. I weighed in at 168 kilos and I thought I was looking really good. I thought I was looking really good. And then I saw the guy I was fighting and um, he looked awesome, he was fit, he was strong. Um, and I, you know, I looked up on the big screen when I entered the ring and I'll never forget it, you know, I looked, I said, man, you know, you see here, everything's still hanging out. And I thought, oh, I still got some work to do. But um, I got a bit of hate. <clears throat> I got a bit of hate for the, the, the way I carried on, but each fight I was losing weight and people were started asking me, you know, how, how are you doing this? You know, what's the secret? Uh, so, you know, everyone wants to know the secret. They all want to know what the secret is. And I would tell them, well, if you show up here, you know, I'll show you what the secret is. Hard work. <laughs> then I talk to them about nutrition, which is the, the main, that's the secret, really. Good nutrition. So I started a group called Butterbean Motivation um, to start directing people that were asking me about, um, you know, my journey, the fitness and the healthy lifestyle part of it, not nothing to do with the boxing. And publicly, I had to behave a certain way. I was playing, the, uh, playing a character. In this group, I could be myself and it was really mentoring people with um, everything that I've learned and, and being with them on their journey. Um, you know, because a lot of, what a lot of the times, you know, people I find didn't have the positive people around them. So that's why I created the group BBM so that we could always be surrounded by positivity. And really the group from one person to such an amazing movement, you know, and, and what we do, the reason why it's successful is because what we do works. And, you know, everything I teach is, um, has come from my experience. And I know it works because it's worked on me and it works on so many others. So I've given people, I'm giving people the tools that they need to, to be able to live a healthy lifestyle forever. Cause it's not about a challenge, you know, that um, once the challenge is finished, you just go back to your old way of living. What this is, is giving people, it's like taking them through a course where you're giving them the tools, or I give them the tools to be able to, to maintain it, you know, and whenever, if people do fall off the wagon, which we all do, cause no one's perfect, they're able to use it, use the toolkit to come back, back on track. I want to help as many people as possible and it's, again it's not the weight loss I just want to help people get their lives back together you know and, and normal from my own experience obesity and, and, and depression is it all comes from something so you know we, we find that when we fix and we start living a healthy lifestyle everything else falls in the track so falls into place and I that's that's my goal just for it to be everywhere and to help as many people as possible To be able to help one person change their life is amazing, but when you, you are able to do that for thousands is, um, is an unreal feeling. Uh, and that's my main, my motivation every day. I wake up, I think of my family, and then I think of others, you know, and I think of, you know, I'm helping one person, I'm not just helping them, I'm helping their family, you know, so the me today is someone that's uh, really content um, and driven to um, help as many people as possible.